Miami at 11. Uh, hey there, good morning, and welcome to Live Miami at 11. Look who's back. Hi. I, I've been here. I've been here in spirit. I've just kind of been You have. Pacific You've been Coast here time. via Skype and phone. Phone. That's right. Hey, friends, in case you didn't realize, it's Fruit Friday, Thursday, May 10th, 2012. <laughs> Roxanne Vargas here alongside Sherry Spear. Yeah, uh, I was over in L.A. covering the finale of The Voice, and... Man, what a ride, I have to tell you. It, it was, was so cool to live it through you, too, because you really got some exclusive stuff. I need to be prepared for some strong to severe thunderstorms this afternoon. I have stormy weather in there at all time slots with temperatures hanging out in the 80s today. I think we'll see a high around 88 degrees. Tomorrow, good news is we will start the drying process, just an isolated shower on the breeze. Saturday looking great bright and breezy and mostly dry and then an isolated sprinkle perhaps on Mother's Day. That's what's happening in weather. Let's turn it over to Pam Giganti for what's happening now. All right, Sherry, thank you. At this hour, the custody of three children whose mother has been missing for more than a month is in question. Valette Torres of Miramar hasn't been seen since March 30th and her husband is a person of interest in the case. NBC6's Donna Rapato live for us outside the Broward County Courthouse where the case is being heard right now. Hi, Donna, good morning. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, that's right. The husband of Villette Torres, the father of her three children, in the Broward County Courthouse right now for a special hearing where he's asking the judge to give him back full-time custody of their three children. Let's go ahead and show you some video taken in court the last time he was here when a judge stripped Sid Torres, that's Villette Torres' husband, of custody of their three children last month, a few days after anyone last saw the missing mom. Now, the judge gave custody of the couple's children to Villette's family, allowing the father only supervised visits. Investigators consider Sid Torres a person of interest since his wife of 15 years disappeared early in April. Villette's family says the couple had a volatile marriage, and her best friend assured me when I spoke to her that the devoted mother would never, ever leave her kids behind. So again, uh, it's still investigators are still searching for the 38-year-old mom. In fact, they're now uh, sweeping canals across South Florida looking for this mom. Meanwhile, Sid Torres, the father of the couple's three children, inside in a special hearing to see if the judge will give him back custody of their three children. My colleague Diana Gonzalez is in there, and we'll have the very latest tonight at 5. For now, we are live in Fort Lauderdale. Donna Rapato, NBC6. And that leads us to our web question of the day. We wanted to know from you if you think gay marriage should be legalized. Of the nearly 250 viewers who voted, 83% of you voted yes, 17% said no, and no one voted that he or she was uncertain. All right, time to send things back over to Roxanne Vargas for what's coming up on today's show. Hey, Pam, thanks so much. Celebrate Mother's Day early, an entire night dedicated to mom. We will give you the details on this fun-filled event coming up. And hear his story, see his looks. We get fashion forward with the man behind the Sportique Sports Fashion Line. And don't forget to enter our I Like It Facebook contest. Today we're giving away a $100 Visa gift card. All you have to do is like us on Facebook and enter to win. And then tune in tonight to the news I love to see if you're a winner. Florida's only weather patio is on NBC Miami. Brought to you by Carl's Patio. Like Facebook? Like NBC Miami? Then get ready to live like a winner. Go to NBC Miami on Facebook, like us, and enter to win prizes every day. NBC Miami on Facebook. I like it. I'm Kelly Craig. You know, buying a home can be pretty intimidating, especially for first-time home buyers. But even established homeowners can use help with home equity and knowing when to refinance. Here to help us better understand these things is Annie Wilkinson. She is the Senior Vice President of Consumer Lending and Collections for Dade County Federal Credit Union. Hello. Good morning. Boy, intimidating is the word, especially if it's your first time and in this depressed economy. Tell us how the mortgage process works. Senator of Dade County Federal Credit Union and join us next Next Thursday with another great Get Financially Fit topic on Live Miami at 11. Get Financially Fit on NBC6 is sponsored by Dade County Federal Credit Union. NBC6 News in High Definition is brought to you by Brandsmart USA. I like that music, don't you? All right, in today's Hollywood headlines, dinner with George Clooney, anyone? Well, that is what is on the menu for the President of the United States, Barack Obama, during his re-election campaign. That's what he's trying to do. Well, Roxy, I think you're pretty cool as well. Supporting your favorite team used to mean rocking a jersey or a hat, but now you can actually show some team pride and still look trendy. Thanks to my next guest, Jason Franklin. He's co-founder of Sportique. Um, Jason, your story is so cool. You actually started with a baseball cap, right? Yes, at the age of 12. 
I got a chance to uh, design some baseball caps and really it's taken off from there. Now, now it kind of took off because you got some great celebrity endorsements as well. So yes. who were your very first supporters? Uh, Jay-Z and 50 Cent were wearing uh, my hats in their music videos very early on. And from there, I just realized that this was my passion and was a huge fan of sports and a huge fan of music and realized that uh, I love fashion and wanted to take it to the next level. So I'm rocking to your music, man. You have your own open. It's like, oh, wanna, 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 wanna. I love it. Thank you. Okay, you hear the rock and roll music. You know it's pre Friday. You know Chef yes. Adrian Kevill's gonna be in the Panda Kitchen, right? Yes. That's how we roll. And we're, gonna, we're about to rock a pasta dish for Mother's Day. Really? Are you yes. gonna be doing Mother's Day specials? Oh my we goodness. went to Chef Adrian's last uh, last, last year. Cheery. It's yeah, like a pre Mother's Day feast for you. I would love to. And if not, anyways, you know what? Mm. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh my God. Mm. That's so good. It is really good. Seriously. Mm. See you tomorrow, really? friends. Bye, everybody. Mm. 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 Mm.